so welcome back students yesterday i've already taught you the trick isn't it how to see the log without log tables now we'll be applying the same concept with the nernst equation so basically nernst equation you've uh, seen it in electrochemistry every numerical whatever you solve you need to find the log and then find the answer so with studies knowledge what do we learn we have seen first you need to remember the values of log 2 you need to remember the values of log 3 log 5 log 7 i already have discussed this watch the earlier video and then only come back to this I'm using that concept I'll be applying in this numerical right so this Nernst equation numerical the simplest numerical first let us solve and then see how to apply log now what do they give us calculate the EMF of the cell consisting the following half cell okay there is one half cell reaction we need to develop the half cell in which concentration is given here from aluminium to aluminium plus 3 that means oxidation cell reaction nickel to nickel plus 2 that means reduction reaction so the concentrations are given molar concentrations are given and also they've given us the electrode potentials now we'll apply the same in the Nernst equation then we will be using the trick which we have used yesterday in the log table and uh, that is without uh, applying log without log table and then find the solution now when such numerical is given to you as you very well know right first of all we need to write the cell reaction what is the cell reaction aluminium getting converted to al plus 3 plus 3 electrons isn't it right now the next one from what what will happen nickel to nickel plus 2 isn't it two electrons only so nickel is going to pick up okay nickel plus 2 isn't it nickel plus 2 it requires two electrons only the electrons are not balanced to form nickel solid now to balance the electrons on both the sides you multiply both the uh, this one so here what happened you have three electrons here you have two electrons now to cancel the electrons what will you do you will multiply this with two uh, you will multiply this with three hope it is clear whichever you need to cancel see that both the electrons are again cancelled on both the sides here according to this three electrons here according to this formal this one two electrons so if i multiply two electrons with three three twos are six if i multiply three electrons with two two threes are six so electrons will get cancelled let us do that so electrons electrons get cancelled now start writing this becomes two al plus this becomes three ni plus two gives me now this apply this implies to the source isn't it so 2 al plus 3 plus 3 ni okay 3 ni 3 ni solid okay done <coughs> now uh, what is n value here n value how many electrons six electrons have got transacted isn't it now let us apply this to Nernst equation so basically Nernst equation we've already seen isn't it learned the Nernst equation what is Nernst equation any r in st Nernst equation according to this the formula for the equation is e cell the electrode potential is equal to e naught cell standard electrode potential minus 0 0.059 by n log oxidized part by reduced part isn't it fine now we go step by step first of all i need to find e cell okay so e naught cell how to find e naught cell we know we have the formula that is e naught cathode minus e naught anode okay this is the basic thing so what is the cathode here it is nothing but e naught cell cathode value what did we get we've already got in the cathodic reaction this is here okay let us write this as anodic reaction because anodic and oxidation this is cathodic and <coughs> A reduction so how much is uh, cathodic reaction because we require cathodic reaction here how much is a cathode uh, given to us that is nickel related nickel uh, electro potential that is minus 20 0.25 aluminum is minus 1.60 uh, let us apply that so this becomes minus of 0 0.25 minus of minus 1.60 so I get E naught cell as answer of 1.41 now it's easy for me to apply isn't it so here I'll be applying in the Nernst equation with the same thing so what actually is uh, this one now I'll be uh, as I said e, e cell 
okay how much did i get e not cell value 1.41 minus 0 0.059 what is n number of electrons that is six electrons log of how much is the oxidized part which we have got oxidized part here concentration of the oxidized part when we see this is the oxidized part that is 0 0.001 molar this is a reduced part isn't it that is what we have written oxidized part is this one reduced part is this one so oxidized is how much 0 0.001 so let us write that 0 0.001 uh, coefficient square isn't it yes so that is uh, important why did i write uh, this uh, squ square because a two is a see here two is a coefficient here that is what i have written two is a coefficient for nickel what is the concentration 0 0.503 is a coefficient look here aluminium is two nickel is three that is what you need to write so the reduced part is 0 0.50 cube done now now we'll be solving it using log what is the equation now basically e cell is equal to 1.41 minus 0 0.059 divided by 6 isn't it when i can okay when i cancel this okay, let us write the whole thing log <coughs> fine so how can i write this basically 0 0.001 uh, square I, I can write it as 10 raised to of minus 3 square isn't it yes and 0 0.50 cube how what can uh, how can i write this is okay let us write that 0 0.5 cube okay this is for this one okay this is for this one not the whole one okay right so when i divide this i get an answer of 0 0.0098 now let's solve e cell is equal to 1.41 minus 0 0.0098 now log value now see here log this is 10 raised to the minus 3 into 2 that is 6 isn't it so this is nothing but log 10 raised to the minus 6 plus this can be written as right so uh, uh, this 0 0.5 what will happen to this uh, 0 0.5 if i multiply cube times this is nothing it's 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 yes how much do i get i get two cube isn't it yes this cube root two cube how can i write this i can write uh, just send it above yes i can write it like this into into two cube I'm taking it to the numerator because nothing but 0.5 and 0.5 is 2 cube. So I'm, I've got come to this conclusion. Now let us gradually make it. E cell is equal to 1.41 minus 0 0.0098 log of 10 raised per of minus 6. Okay, I can write this as plus. This one becomes. 3 log 2 see here we have come to log 2 gradually i asked you to, I, I asked you to remember log 2 value isn't it yesterday so let us write that log 2 value which we have memorized according to trick yesterday 0 0.0098 yes log uh, 10 to 6 can be written as minus 6 log 10 i already taught you log 10 value nothing 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 but one value isn't it so 3 what is log 2 value which you have written yesterday 0 0.3010 so yesterday i have taught you this value yesterday i have taught you this value also with the trick yes fine so now when i multiply this how much will i get i get 1.41 minus 0. Point, take this as 0 0.0098 isn't it make it 0 0.01 right so this becomes minus 6 log 10 i already know that is 1 right so now multiply this 3 into 3010 that comes to 0 0.9030 this is also over now let us further solve this this is 1.0 uh, 1.41 minus of right so when you multiply these two okay you first do this part let us write that part step by step how much do i get when i solve i get an answer of 5.097 okay now i when i solve this two these two right so when i solve this uh, 0 0.01 into minus of uh, 5.07 how much do i get i get an answer of 41.41 plus 0 0.07 right so when i solve this finally i get an answer of 1.46 so e cell value which i got is 1.46 so what is important here whatever numerator new denominator is given applying yesterday's trick that is important here i have minimized or i have made it uh, uh, I, have written, I have written in this form finally i got minus 6 let it be any number right so minus 6 log 10 this value i have learned yesterday this value also i have learned yesterday isn't it so this is one 
one point which we have thought this is one point which you have thought with this i could solve easily isn't it right so students this is your application of log a trick for log with a nernst equation hope the concept is clear right so uh, just uh, keep uh, noting in your book i'll be solving so many tricks like this thank you for watching students